nice visit to AEA. It's been a minute, probably even pre-pandemic, that I've gone there and hung out with them. So they showed me around. They have a new owner, and things are awesome over there. And they basically let me take some mics to try them out. So let's start with the N8. All right. Look at that beauty. Now, probably most of you have seen the silver one called an N22. That's not an N8. But I don't know if you can see it in there, but you can see a big old ribbon in this. I was actually exposed to this mic when I went to Chicago probably, whew, maybe 10 years ago when they first had prototypes steve albini had one and i've never seen a mic that had looked like this at the time so i know when i got back home i was just like i need to get this microphone and i remember the shape of it but obviously not the color and i grabbed an n22 but years later i realized oh no that was the n8 and this, even though the, like, if this is the speaker, the N22 would be, like, really up on the speaker. This one is kind of, like, near-filled or made, you know, not too far away. Has great low end, could be used as overheads. But I remember when we put this on a guitar cab at Albini's, my mind was blown. So I have this to try out now, and I'm definitely excited about that. This is the KU5A. Beautiful mic. I have not tried this out. If you're familiar with Manny always talking about BK5s uh 50s 60s beautiful ribbon mic I think this is probably close to the same thing uh feels massively heavy if it is like a BK5 there'll be somewhat of a sound chamber in here this is where the mic would be placed you know against the speaker or the sound source the cancellation this is a really special mic and um uh, I'm, I'm really excited to try this out obviously i have a bunch of bk5s and i always speak about the russian octavas which are kind of copies of bk5s but when you have someone like aea making one i mean this is rock solid i can't wait to try this out and i believe they're really affordable you can use them for vocals as well and we'll find out this is the ku5a this one is a beast it's not just your normal ribbon mic. Wowza. Look at this. This is pretty much a work of art. And I believe this is like a really cool original design by AEA. This microphone, which is crazy to say, probably every cool cat I know, every good studio you go into, they have one of these. But you just don't hear a lot of people talking about how cool these are. This is a R88. I asked for the passive one because that's the one I've been using. My friend Fritz has one. I'll give you uh, an example of why I'm really liking this mic. But first off, this mic is just incredible. The stereo image of it is spectacular. Even if you can see in there, the big old ribbons in there. It's a stereo mic. Even though you have one cable, you can see all the pins in it. And this is the cable that it comes with. You'll see uh, one, and then it comes out stereo in two. This mic, I will say, if you are serious about recording, I wish every studio had this. You know, not only just say, I wish I had this, but um, I will say it's probably one of the most uh, sleeper, top secret, but it's not a secret. You ask any studio and they'll tell you about this, but in the world of recording, this microphone is incredible for acoustic guitar, drum overheads, anything needing of a stereo mic, even backups or hand claps. Uh, this is incredible. So I'm going to do some videos or a video on using all these. And you know it's going to be good because it's Manny Styles. Well, like you mentioned about the R88, there was something special that I wanted to share with you. It is this. Wow. A lot of people have gotten the 500s, but I'll say if you are serious about recording, most studios in the world don't buy 500s, they buy racks because it's just way easier to store and keep up, you know, keep in your system in the TT Bay. This is a stereo preamp. Now, this one, I think, actually, I know will work with passive uh, and um, active mics because there's a 48 power but on the ribbon i have 
You would never want to engage that, so I'm going to unengage that because it's not, it's passive. But I can tell you this, I had this rack when I made my first record. It was one when they first started making this. It may have even been a prototype. I have a record by the Chava Servine, a song called Uno, and that preamp is my guitar. Now at the time I had a buyer 160 ribbon mic going into this. And as you go through my record, my guitar sounds sound cool and wild, but for me personally, I felt like my guitar never had as much depth and 3D image on a ribbon mic than when I was running through this. So I have a stereo one that I'll be using with the R88. I'm definitely going to be using it with the uh, KU5A and then also the N8. So if you can, once again, these are also affordable and there's a really great EQ, a lot of headspace, and this preamp does work on any kind of microphone. Ribbon mics, even better. There it is. AA. I love AA.